The Uniclete area has a long history of healthy salmon runs. Remnants of native homes here date back over 2,000 years, and the methods of preserving fish have been passed down through the generations. In this remote place, maintaining the salmon run literally means survival. So Fish and Game is using the latest methods to do it. Napa Auto Parts is proud to present Napa's Inside Alaska. The screw trap basically catches coho and king smolt that come down the river. And it's set up mainly as a recapture site. Farther up river we have hoop traps and minnow traps and we catch the smolt up there and then put a little mark on them. So then when they hopefully will catch enough of the marked fish to kind of get a rough estimate of how many smolt are going out of the unilocleate drainage. Juvenile pinks, chum, coho, and kings generally spend one to two years in fresh water before entering the ocean. But because of the shorter growing season in these colder northern regions, some smolt spend up to four years in fresh water. This project is gathering information on the numbers and movement of these juvenile salmon before they begin their years at sea. And the key tool is what's called a screw trap. It's got fins on the inside that kind of go through like a corkscrew. And then when the current hits those fins, that's what spins the wheel. So the speed of the wheel depends on the speed of the current. And then the fish just kind of get trapped up in the corkscrew of it and just corkscrew all the way down into the live well. After the smolt are caught, they're sedated, weighed, and measured, and sampled to track their original stream. Then they're released unharmed. Finally, the information goes into a database for study. Overall purpose of the smolt study is just to kind of get an idea of the health of the population as they're little fish. So obviously this river doesn't have a very strong return of kings, so you get an idea of how many king smolt are going out. If it's a real strong smolt outgoing and, and a weak adult return, then obviously something's happening when they're in the ocean. So, And this is like one of the very few smolt projects that have gone on, I think, in you know Alaskan river systems. So it's kind of a whole learning experience. We're kind of learning as we go. So hopefully with this new data, we'll eventually have a better understanding and in turn better management of the complex cycles of Alaskan wild salmon. <laughs>